NASCAR has fined Bubba Wallace for his post-race contact with Alex Bowman following Sunday's NASCAR Cup Series race at Chicago. Welcome back to Break Hard. My name is Matt. No, NASCAR is not suspending Bubba Wallace for his post-race contact Sunday at the Chicago Street Course with Alex Bowman. That was never going to happen. But what they are doing is fining him $50,000 for that contact with Bowman. Now, I don't think that's really that big of a surprise, right? I think we all kind of anticipated him getting some sort of penalty because it did look a tad aggressive to go up and, you know, kind of hip check Bowman into the wall as rough as he as he did there. I am surprised by the fact that it's $50,000. I thought this was more of a $25-ish thousand dollar fine. $50,000 feels a bit excessive compared to other penalties that we've seen, not only this year, but in years past for things that I would consider to be more egregious than what happened here. So why was he given a $50,000 penalty? I think a few factors went into it, but before we get to that, I am glad that they didn't give him a points penalty as well, because I don't think it warranted a points penalty. That did not affect the outcome of the, the championship or the playoff you know, seating. Essentially, what Bowman did affected it more than what Bubba did there at the end of the race because, well, laps weren't being counted. So I'm fine with the fact that it's monetary. Definitely okay with it not being points. I would have not liked to have seen a points penalty issued here. But there's probably a few reasons why NASCAR did issue a penalty of $50,000. One, uh, it was pretty aggressive. When you look at the onboard camera from Alex Bowman's car, when Bubba hits him, it does rip the wheel out of his hands. It puts him into the wall. Wheel comes up off the ground a little bit. That's just because these cars are really stiff. But uh, it does. It is aggressive. It is a bit jarring. Um, it, it, it was definitely more intense than it needed to to be there. Obviously, Bubba also had, I don't know, two and a half hours, more or less, to cool down from it. So he probably should have been able to do that. And then NASCAR maybe looked at his past transgressions as well, because it's kind of what they did with Carson Hosevar last week at Nashville when he spun out Harrison Burton under caution. So I think there's a few factors that played into it. And again, I'm fine with there being a penalty in a situation like this, because when the window nets are down and you're on a cool down lap, especially about to come to pit road, probably not the place to to make that aggressive of content. Go up and sideswipe the guy, flip him off, do something like that. But, you know, kind of doing what he did a little bit over the line. I, I get it. Meanwhile, Chase Elliott, who also made contact not once but twice on that cooldown lap with Daniel Suarez, did not receive a penalty. And I think there's a few factors that go into that. But Chase was really upset that Daniel Suarez absolutely sent him in that final corner on the last lap. Sent him like his UPS package. Just no regard for him whatsoever. A max or stop and type pass from, from Daniel there. Which, I mean, they are going to be potentially future brother-in-laws as well. So there's that factor. And it, not a clean pass at all. The opposite of Don. Very dirty. Uh, so he wasn't very happy with that. Chases him down. Sideswipes him. Brake checks him. And NASCAR did say that they would speak with Chase. Chase Elliott about his actions on that final lap. But I mean, if you're going to look at past transgressions and they didn't say that about Bubba, but I'm just saying, if you look at it, Chase has also done things on a cool down lap as well, like put Denny Hamlin into the wall at Martinsville. And you got to be like, oh, well, you know, he does have a bit of a history like this. But again, I get these guys being frustrated. I get the emotion behind it. And I don't want to see them get neutered, right? That's one thing we talk about in the sport is we need more personality. We need more emotion out of these drivers. And now if on a cool down lap, you're going to have them coming back to pit road, not, you know, allowed to make contact or anything like that. Again, I don't want to see guys go out there and getting hooked, run into it. I don't want to see it turn into a demolition derby whatsoever. But if you're unhappy with a guy, you should be able to go up, side swipe him if you want to, flip him off, something like that. Dale Jr. on his podcast this week talked about a number of different instances where people have ripped the right front fender off or the left front fender going up after a race and sideswiping a guy not being happy with them. And there were never penalties issued for that other than the Carl Edwards one that he referenced as well, where he T-bones uh, uh, Dale Jr. on the cooldown lap. So, yeah, when you look at it. Obviously, I think a points or a, a penalty had to be issued for for what Bubba did because it did a come across it did come across as a bit too aggressive in that situation. But for Chase Elliott, I think him getting away scot free is a little questionable. But this does now set a bit of a precedent. Will that precedent be followed? Now nah, we'll have to wait and see going forward. But not shocked by the penalties. I know some people are going to get said he didn't get suspended. That was just never going to happen. So let me know in the comments. Are you okay with the penalty? Did you expect it to be more, less? Did you expect Chase to get a penalty? Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.